Okay, reality capture for architecture. This is documenting a small object using terrestrial photogrammetry. This is a wood planter as an example using 99 images. The camera angles at each step. First is the low angle, which is straight forward. Next step is the midpoint, which is a 30 degrees angle down. And then the high point, I used a 45 degree angle down. This will create three loops around the object. I'm using the same one-third, two-thirds overlap as I progress uh, down the face of the object. This is an example after two images using the two-thirds overlap. And finally, as I progress, I'm sticking with that two-thirds overlap, providing enough overlap as I run through. Here's a sidestep example. Now I am at the low angle, facing straight at the object. Next step is at 30 degrees, approximately. Next step is the high point at 45 degrees. This should give me enough coverage uh, to see all of the texture and surface required to make the model. In this case, um, capturing the wood from the side as I progress up to the 30 degrees, I'm seeing uh, the soil and then the other side of the planter uh, and its wood lip. Here we see a time lapse, uh, just the fast forward. I'm attempting to maintain about six feet from the object itself, and that'll provide me with a good, good loop around the perimeter. Here again, it's low, straight forward, then 30 degrees, then 45 degrees, ensuring I capture as much of that object as I can. That good overlap will provide a better accuracy within the mesh model course, better color rendition as I go. Back to the time lapse uh, to get us through the documentation of this pro uh, object. Now, why would I want to document a planter? Maybe this is a bench system in front of a facade of a historic building. Uh, always thinking about that historic preservation aspect. Maybe this is a stone wall. Maybe it's a you know statue or a stone wall around the statue. Maybe it's a planter system. Maybe it's a fountain system. Um, all of which would hold true with this example. Here's another vantage point of the low, then midpoint, and high point at zero, then 30, then 45 degrees. Now, once I process my model and actually see how much I've covered, which I'm going to guess this is probably enough. I may need to go back and do another loop and uh, face uh, down at the object itself uh, past the 45 degrees, maybe it's closer to a 60 degree angle to really get that inside lip. A little field uh, fountain on campus might be a, another good example of this where you see the front face of the fountain, but also might want to capture the interior part, uh, interior walls of that fountain. Of course, the statue would, would be a super complex to to gather and in that aspect and may not be able to get close if the, the water's there in the fountain and maybe it's time to fly a drone. Here we are completing the full loop, retaining somewhere around six feet from the object itself. And now for the results of the wood planter. You'll see I have several gaps on the back side of the planner itself of the 99 images. I think I would have to go back and add a few more loops. And here you see where the gap is on the back side of the planter. Clearly some black holes in there, so I'll need more images, more overlap, more loops. That's it. That's documenting a small object using terrestrial photogrammetry.